Hi, my name is Kari Kuglin and I'm the product architect here at FieldSync. What I'd like to go over with you today is an overview of our newest features that we just released on March 31st in version 2.4.6. One of the things that we made a change to for our web application is that we moved the URL from fieldsyncheath.com to fs.fieldsync.net. What this allows us to do is help support those of you who are not working within the healthcare industry, but also continue to serve our health customers. We also added another feature that will be visible mostly to our new customers, which allows us to populate each new company with some sample data. We've heard some feedback from some of our previous customers that the initial use of FieldSync is a little bit cumbersome and difficult to understand. So what we've done is added some sample data to our new customers so that they can go in and see some examples of how the FieldSync system works. Now related to specific features that are now available to our customers, let me go through first of all a few new configurable fields that we've added. So as you know from previous webinars, our configurable fields allow you to build forms for your data entry in logs and for tasks. So what I'll do is go into my settings area, and I have within my settings a log set up that has a couple of our new fields. So I've titled this log sign off, and you'll see down here in the configurable fields area that we have a few new types. First of all, we have a new text display type. What this allows you to do is have a set of text that is displayed during the data entry process, but it's read-only text. So for example, you might want to have some sort of authorization or the end of an agreement. So with this new text display type, you can choose that from the drop-down list and then enter the text that you would like to have displayed. I'll show you in just a few minutes what that looks like on the mobile application. The other type of configurable field that we added is a date timestamp. So you can see that here. So what this allows you to do is capture the exact date and time that the button for the date timestamp was selected. So this works for those examples where you want to capture the exact date and time at the time of clicking the button. So an example of this might be for time card. You might use this date timestamp for clocking in and for clocking out to make sure that your users are entering the proper information and that you have the accurate data. This data is not editable, so once they select the button, that is the value that is saved to the database. Another thing that we added is the ability to create a configurable field without having to enter a label. So in this example, right now you can see that there's a label for the authorization, but if I wanted to just display the text, I could simply delete the text and save a new configurable field without a label. So let's just go ahead and show what that looks like. So say for example that I want to capture a photo. I could select photo. Maybe I don't need to have a label, maybe it just speaks for itself, and I can save that record now, and you're no longer required to have a label for each of your configurable fields. Okay, so now why don't I jump over to the mobile application so you can see these new fields in use. I'm going to select logs from my main menu, and I will select a new log. And for the type, I will choose the one we were just looking at, which was sign off. And now down at the bottom, you will see First of all, the authorization. As you can see, it's a read-only field that just simply displays the text that you indicated. So this shows I authorize that the above information is valid and accurate. Then I can go ahead and add a signature. And as far as the, the date and time stamp, I simply select set time. And you'll see that this captures the date and time exactly down to the second. And also, you can see that it's not editable. And then finally, here's what a configurable field would look like without a label, the new photo field that we just added. So as you can see, these new features that we've added really allow you to capture even more configurable fields data. This data can also be added to any of the existing tasks that you have, and all of the data that is collected within these configurable fields is also displayed in reports. And the final feature that we added to 246 is the ability to add and edit customers on the mobile application if you'd like. Now, I'm do, I did an entire webinar just on that functionality that you'll be able to view, but let me just go in and show you quickly. So within our customer info, you can see now that I have the ability to select the Add button and add a new customer to my database. 
I also have the ability, if I cancel out, to go into an existing customer. And I can now select Edit. So if a phone number changes or an address changes for one of my customers, I can make a change to that in the field and synchronize the data up. And it's now updated for everybody. Now this functionality we know is not something that all of our customers want. So you do have the ability within the web application to set whether or not you want your users to have that functionality. So within the security tab, you can go down to the bottom and indicate whether or not you want your mobile users to be able to add and edit customers on the mobile. So by checking or unchecking these boxes, you can either turn on or off that functionality. And by default, our customers do not have that turned on. So if you do want to have that functionality, you will need to go in and check both of these boxes. That is a high-level summary of the features that we added in version 246. We do have more functionality coming your way in 247, and we look forward to hearing some feedback from all of you. Thank you.